Hi guys, welcome to TechTube. Today we'll see how we can interface the GSM module with Arduino. So first, when you buy any GSM module from any hardware shop or from Amazon, first thing you should do is to check the GSM module is working or not. For that, you have to make this connection. So first, we'll see the hardware, right? GSM module, SIM 800C. We have a RS232 over here, one buzzer, one inductor, two capacitor, one power jack, and this is the antenna, okay? As you can see and this is the back side of the GSM module so we'll give power to this GSM module and the special quality of this module is that we got one buzzer over here I will tell you it at the end how this buzzer works and what are the advantages of this buzzer okay for giving power to GSM module we are using this uh, adapter 12 volt 1 ampere don't give power extra to this because this will harm your GSM module okay now we'll give power to gsm module okay now as you can see the red light is turned on and the blue light is flashing after every one second when the gsm will be in the range the blue light will start blinking after every three second okay now as you can see it's blinking after every three second okay and we have a sim over here so first we'll test the gsm module right after connecting the hardware come to this website okay now we'll see how we can test the gsm module one by one you can find everything related to gsm 800c over here okay so just you have to copy this code click on copy open your arduino ide okay just paste this and we'll dump the code okay no need to make any changes except you are using a different pin on the arduino i am here you i am using 3 comma 2 okay tx and rx so now we'll see the serial monitor select the baud rate as 9600 over here as you can see and this has new line okay and we can see the response 80 ok 80 plus cc id and 80 plus esq as well okay you can also test the gsm module separately by using hardware serial pins that is 0 and 1 connect the rx to rx tx to tx okay and ground to ground and write the 80 commands manually okay like 80 and okay so now we'll see as you can see we got the response over here as okay so you can also test this manually now We'll see how we can send the SMS on the phone. So for that, you just have to come to this website again. Now click on copy. Now again, we'll paste this. Okay, first we'll close the serial monitor. Okay, now we'll paste this. Okay, now you just have to paste the code. No need to make any changes. And we'll just dump this code in the Arduino ID. Okay, now we'll see the sms over here as you can see on the left hand side i got my virtual phone over here okay now we'll click on the serial monitor okay let me show you again now we got the response and as you can see we got the message over here as as you can see welcome to techtube right so this is how you send sms on phone and now i'll tell you how you can make a call using gsm module okay for that come to this website again okay now click on copy and paste this in the arduino ide now we'll just upload this and we'll also see the result on our virtual phone okay as you can see on the back the code is getting uploaded okay now anytime we'll get the call from the gsm module right so let's see We'll wait for that and we can also see the result on the serial monitor as well. Okay. Now, as you can see, we are getting the call from the GSM. So you can accept it or decline it as you wish. I will decline this. Okay. Now, I told you something about the buzzer on the GSM module and the special quality of that buzzer, right? The special quality of that buzzer is that when you make a call, okay, on this number, okay so the buzzer will start and as you can see as you can see the beep sound over here that means the call is coming on this number and you can attend that or it will give you an alert and same for the sms also now i'll cut the call okay and same for the sms also you'll get one single beep for every sms so thank you we'll meet soon in the next video